Suppose we're on the account form and we know that we want, need to add a number field to the account. And in this case I'm going to do a custom field. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to go to whole number and I realize that no, I can't use whole numbers because my number is going to have decimals behind it. So whole number is out. Perhaps floating point number or decimal number are my options. And you can see that there are decimal values here. Um, the minimum value, although they default to zero, can be a negative number if I wanted it to, and it can have decimal points behind it. I select the precision of how many decimal points are to the right of the decimal right here. So I can go up to 10, and I can have multiple decimal points behind. So what's the difference between a floating point number and a decimal number. Well, as you can see, the floating point number, first of all, only goes out to a precision of 5, and my decimal number goes out to a precision of 10. Um, if I was using, if I was wanting to use this field in, a, in an aggregate or a sum of multiple different numbers, and performance was important to me, and precision wasn't that important to me, I might consider a floating point number just because the processing will happen faster, slightly smaller value, slightly faster processing as a result. Also, if I was comparing and doing uh, not equal to or equals to, processing on a floating point number will happen faster. Really, all we're looking at here is what is the data type inside of SQL. And floating point numbers are better for, yes, there are decimals, but it's not a precision number like one-third or, or fractions. If I was looking at a fraction, and I was wanting to do things like greater than or um, less than or greater than or equal or greater than and equal to, then the decimal number that has a whole lot more finite value to it might be a good value. Um, if I wasn't sure which way to go, I would probably default to a float data type just because things will process process faster in your CRM system and you'll have plenty of decimals to be relatively accurate. Just be aware that there's going to be some rounding in the system that will happen and that may cause you issues if you're starting to add or do math with multiple numbers.